When I think about WhatsApp, I think about what happened to Jeff Bezos. What's that? Well, someone, I think it was the top dude in Saudi Arabia, sent him a link. Here, click on this, my friend. Yeah. And uh, it was, was one of those. Black eyes with the dick. It was. Pe- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Somebody got me the other day with uh, Floyd Mayweather. That was. That the, one. I got that. I yeah, got sent Segura that. Got I saw me. the San Francisco Chronicle at the bottom. That's Se- how you know. Segura, Segura, whenever he sends me something, I'm like, I know you got me. I know yeah, you got, yeah, I'm clicking yeah. anyway. Ah, you got me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, the head guy sent Bezos a link. And, uh, yeah, Jeff Bezos hack. Amazon boss phone hacked by Saudi crown prince. Wild. Okay. Uh, Investigation suggests Washington Post owner was targeted five months before murder of Jamal Khashoggi. Yeah, because they were – the Washington Post was doing some sort of an expose on MBS. And then that was before they killed Jamal Khashoggi. And then they sent him a message like, hey, click on this. Yeah. And it it uploaded – uh, Pegasus software to his okay. phone. And Pegasus is the Israeli spy software that allows them to read everything on your phone. Apparently, though, according to Gavin DeBecker, Jesus. who's a securities expert, that um, the new Pegasus, Pegasus 2, yeah. they don't even need a link. They just need your phone number. Like, it's over. Yeah, Like, all this idea of, like, encrypted this and fucking hidden that. And I was trying to explain to a friend of mine. He carries around one of those weird phones, which, uh, you know, it's like a, an Android phone that has some sort of top secret operating system. And, this, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and he thinks like, no Are one can track me. Factory? No one gives. I go, hold on. Are you making phone calls? Do you yeah. use text messages? Okay, well, then your phone, it released, relates to the tower, and they know exactly where you are. Yeah. Like, there's one way, one way for you to hide the location. You have to take your phone, and you have to shut it off, and then put it in a Faraday bag. And he's like, what's a Faraday bag? You ever heard of the company Silent? No. S-L-N-T. They uh, make backpacks. And inside that backpack, there's a Faraday sleeve for your laptop and a Faraday sleeve for your iPhone or yeah. your phone. And you put it in there and you you, you vanish. Who's they doing can't. that? Who's vanishing? A lot of people. Why? Well, I don't know if you know about the state of the world today, but a lot of people are being tracked. It's I don't know. Like, I have no need to vanish. For now, you don't. Yeah, but... But if some shit gets weird. Yeah, but who? how many people are getting, like, a company is making this for just regular dudes yeah. that are like, I need to get off the grid? Yeah, because someone, like, say if you're in a, in a divorce. This is a fair, silent, S-L-N-T. Um, reconnect your right to disconnect. Yeah, if you, like, say if you're going through a divorce or something like that and your wife fucking decides to track <laughs> your phone everywhere. Black guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's Sorry, his hand up. Hey, this isn't good. get away. Yeah. My bad. They work. It's but very that, funny they're still doing like... But once you start using your phone, yeah. they know where you are. Of course. Yeah. I mean, if you're, you're fucking hiding from the CIA, guess what? You can't use a phone. The CIA is going to get you. They're going to get you. Yeah. And eventually, you're going to use someone else's phone. They, and got they, the know they, they shot the president in the head. Oh, yeah. They're going to get you. Oh, yeah. Also, who are you? What are you doing? Yeah, who are you do? I don't know. I don't... I mean, you, yeah. I'm not... Again, I'm not getting on a plane with I you assume. again. I assume... You're in trouble. I assume they're gonna. Get they're you. listening to everything I say. They got all my dick pics. They got all my fucking, all my memes. I'm just. I, I'm gonna. Every time I fucking jack Speaking off. Speaking of yesterday, the, the grand, <laughs> don't the cut grand me theft, off there. The Grand Theft Auto thing leaked. The trailer leaked, and they, they said it the way it happened is because they probably uploaded it to YouTube. And once you do that, no matter if a video is private or not, anyone, not anyone, but most people who work at YouTube have access to that now. Right. Oh, uh, okay. So thousands of people. Had access to that file and could have stolen it immediately. Anyway, anytime I jack off, I'm always worried somebody gets that footage. Your phone's looking at you. It is, but yeah, if somebody sees that Probably face, is. that face just mm. with a half hard dick. Are you <laughs> yeah, thinking about quitting, but you're can, just yeah. determined to keep going because yeah. you don't want to stop once you start. Let's see if that zinc works. Yeah, fucking see, measure your loads. On a <laughs> whole scale. <laughs> Oh, this was good today. Let's see. I, uh, I had five egg whites. Yeah, that Waffle House paid off with <laughs> the major load. Yeah, if guys have little loads, they get sad. Like, oh, it, is dis- it is depressing. What's all that about? Yeah. Jamie, you have little loads. How do you know? From how do you know? <laughs> Don't like, worry about it, brother. What are you, what are you looking at? 
fuck are you, do you saying? Have my, do you have access to my phone? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you got Pegasus 3. Yes. Which only gets your fucking load. <laughs> I just go straight to Jamie. Whenever you're, you're, you're linked to you porn, it fucking sends a notification to Shane's phone. <laughs> yeah. I go, oh, it's and he watches you whack on. <laughs> my, buddy, my buddy got fucked. He was, uh, shout out Lemaire. <laughs> he's going to love this. He got... He got he's got some great stories. One of them, we were on the road in fucking Milwaukee, and he was like, "You know what? I'm gonna try to find an orgy." What? Which is crazy. Try I mean, to find an orgy. If you knew this guy, it would be even crazier to see this guy being like, "I should go to an orgy." He just said, "I'm gonna go find it." Who the <laughs> yeah. fuck says that? So he went on Reddit to Milwaukee's Gone Wild. He oh goes, my god! Whatever city we're in, he checks out there. Gone Wild. And they were like, we're having an orgy at the Days Inn. <laughs> for, <laughs> for, for reference. For reference. So you know uh, Just so you know, that guy was, uh, and then he got, he paid, like, they were like, it's $100 a ticket. He was like, all right, deal. Pays him $100, takes an Uber to the Days Inn in Milwaukee at, like, 3 a.m. He gets there. He's in the lobby. He's like, hey, can you guys, I'm here. And they're like, we're too busy fucking. We can't let you in. <laughs> 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 so then, it's just a complete scam. And he gets back to my house. We're in New York. And he's like, I got to fuck it. He's like, I'm going to message him and be like, give me that fucking money back. So he messages him. And they're like, they must have his location somehow. So he messages them. And he's like, hey, you guys fucked me on that. And they're like, actually, we're doing a, we're doing an orgy in Brooklyn tonight. We'll give you half off if you want to come to that. Oh my god! It's like, dude, they just keep taking his he's money. So <laughs> they just keep he's taking so his dumb. They just keep taking his money. He's so dumb, and he's just horny. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's worth it. I could be yeah. wrong. They might have got him on a Facetime. Somebody might have got him on a jacking off on Facetime. How they do that? They say they're a girl. They don't show you who they are. They keep their screen black. Oh, you boy. whack off. They go. Oh boy, you owe us five thousand dollars, or we're gonna release that video. <sighs> Oh, Shout out Lemare. I just <laughs> fucked him. My bad, Lemare. I love you. Listen, dude. what is it gonna do to him? So like, people are gonna a funny laugh. Story. It'll help his career. He's told that story before. Yeah, it'll help his career. Yeah. That's the thing about being a comic. It's not like being a journalist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> if you're a journalist and you get busted you're jacking off to FaceTime, like you're in real trouble. Like that Jeffrey Tubin guy. Yeah. That guy was in real trouble. Like, he lost his job. I think they brought him back on CNN, but everybody just kept calling him the jerk-off guy. That's over. You're you're done. And then he went on Patrick Bet David's podcast. He was, like, <laughs> defending the vaccine like it was, a, like, a religious doctrine. <laughs> it was wild. 